Well, not quite, because one of the things in the background is very low inventories. The month supply is running about four months, if that, and the realtors group tends to see that as a seller's market. There's just not very much on the market. You really have to get the four up to six or seven months, and that's even allowing for the fact that sales have been dropping. So you don't need as many houses to get four months supply as you needed six or eight months ago. But overall, housing generally feels very weak. The sales are sliding. They've been sliding since November of 2017. That's slightly over a year. Home prices are still going up, but the rate of increase is just drifting down. And um, it's not like it's about to collapse tomorrow morning, but there's no, there's no impetus to keep it going despite the fact that mortgage rates are modest and came down, despite the fact that consumers supposedly feel good, and the unemployment rate is incredibly low by anybody's measure. You know, price gains we know are, are slowing, but I mean, the Southwest still remains pretty hot, especially Las Vegas. What's driving prices there? Uh, the whole Southwest is, is generally looking pretty hot. Uh, it still seems to be a very popular place for people to move to. It's very attractive. Uh, one reads about the aging of the population, the number of people turning 65 each month and going to retire and that kind of thing. And I think that creates a lot of attraction for the southern half of the company, country, especially the Southwest. Now, that's an easy thing to pitch this morning since, as you mentioned, Minneapolis seems to be in the deep freeze and here in the Northeast, we'll get it in about a day and a half. You know, I know these, these numbers don't reflect the government shutdown, but do you think they're gonna skew the January results when we get them? Um, I, I think everything continues to be soft. We've seen softness in housing starts, especially single family, single family homes. We had a couple of months where apartment construction popped up, but single family homes are very soft. Um, some of the other numbers, pending home sales, have been pretty soft. Probably the only hint of light in the last month or so was the National Association of Home Builders. Their builder sentiment number, which has been holding about 50 percent, moved up a couple of points, I think, from 56 to 58. But outside of that, um, you know, this doesn't mean an immediate collapse, but it's just hard to see a lot of life or a lot of new buoyancy coming through. The rest of the economy looks reasonably good. There may be a few wrinkles here and there, but housing is clearly the weak spot in the economy these days. All right, David Blitzer, always a pleasure. Thank you.